here's a little video on how to animate a sprite first you assuming you downloaded the sprite you need to get the sprite in here so you're gonna file import and import to stage here's my sprite you'll notice that I renamed my my sprites I needed to in this case where it says jump 06 here for example if this was in parentheses or some other weird convention it wouldn't work you don't have to have an underscore you'll notice sometimes I didn't use an underscore but you may need to rename these the bottom line is flash won't recognize it unless you've got a, the sequence name properly so let's try the idle sequence on this little dino um, I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and press uh, idle dino one it has to be number one people it has to be number one I'm gonna press open and uh, uh, animate's gonna recognize and, and say uh, this just say yes and it'll pop them all in there to dow there you have it now there is an issue here and that's the fact that well in this case the dinosaur is too big for the screen which I did on purpose and also I don't really want everything out here on the main timeline I need to put this dinosaur on its own timeline so here's what I'm gonna do I'm going to select all these frames I'm holding down shift and selecting all these frames all ten of them and I right click and I'm going to cut those frames. Now those frames are going to be on my clipboard. Then I'm going to create a uh, movie clip. A movie clip is an, a chance to have a nested timeline. So I'll go to insert new symbol and choose movie clip and I'll call this uh, dino idle. Okay. He's not moving, he's just standing still. And press OK and immediately I see a new timeline and you'll notice up here here's Dino Idle right there and there's scene one that's how I back up now I'm gonna right click and guess what I'm gonna press paste frames bam the di dinosaurs in there and so are all the frames that are uh, if I can scroll across here you can see he's um, animated yeah that's what he does he jumps up and down like a little dork and then I'll go back out here to scene one nothing right where is he at? He's in the symbol library. So we're gonna have to drag him out of the library. You're gonna see all the little PNGs that I imported in the library as well. Don't let that confuse you. Alright, what happened here? There we go. There's Dino Idol. My screen's just really small because I'm recording, so I got the lost. But right there in that region, Dino Idol, let's just drag him out here to the stage, okay? And there he is. Now he's too big. He's too big. So, how do I resize him? Well, you want to keep it proportions, but uh, you resize him by just going to properties, right? You have him selected. You go to the properties of him, right? He's 680 by 472, which is way too big. Let's go ahead and take his size down. See the little lock right there? Make sure it's checked. And I'm going to take him down to, say, uh, 350 in this case. In fact, let's go all the way down to 300. I'll be wild, right? Haha. -ha. And uh, press enter. And there it goes. It shrinks down to a little guy. I'll put him in the middle of the screen. And you don't see him being animated unless you double click and go onto his own timeline to see the animation. But trust me, it, you're just going to see a looped animation out here on the main timeline. Let, let me drag this out here to like three seconds, all right? Uh, just dragging it out so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. In fact, I'll just insert a frame down here. I already want two two keyframes in this case. Now, if I press Control Enter or go to Control and Test, you'll see there he is. Now, here's the tricky part. Here's the tricky part. It's the part that messes students up. I want to import an animation of him running, so I'll go to File and import to stage and this part's going to be a little messed up let me delete the dino makes it easier for what we're about to do file and uh, delete all the exact same steps import to stage <clears throat> we're going to find a sequence where he is running in fact let's do one where he's jumping that would be more fun all right we'll make him jump so we're going to jump and just press jump on one it's got to be one press open yes wait there it is there's the whole sequence isn't that fun okay this is gonna look weird because he'll be stuck in the air at the end but I'll fix that 
once again, grab everything, copy it, copy, cut those frames, I mean, cut them, all right, oops, did I miss a frame? Let me do it one more time, I want to make sure I get all those frames, uh, cut frames, I don't know why it's creating this extra frame, honestly, it's kind of weirding me out, I think it's a flash mistake, but I'm scared, so I'll copy cut these frames one more time, and then I'm just going to remove this frame, alright? In fact, I'll just kill all these. I don't really want these guys here. I don't like them. Um, remove the frames. And I'll make sure there's one keyframe here. Just be a blank keyframe. This is for later. Now, once again, insert. New symbol. This will be dino. Jump. Paste those frames. Back out, and uh, right here, the, this I'm going to call this frame idle. So I'm going to open up the properties for this frame, and I'm just going to type in the word idle, and it'll appear. It'll appear shortly here. Um, so he'll be idle for let's say one second. So we'll insert a uh, a keyframe here. Well, actually, actually, we'll do it like after one second. Insert a keyframe. So throughout this whole, this is where he's idle. And then for another two seconds, we'll have the jump. All right, so I'm going to insert the uh, keyframe here. Or in fact, I'll just insert a frame here. That's all I need. Insert a frame. Don't really need a keyframe. I'm getting keyframe crazy. Okay, let's uh, go over here to the library, and we'll find our two guys idle. It's the first guy we need. Let me go click on idle over here before I open up the library again. And there we go. Idle, where are you at? Dino idle, there it is. So there we go. Drag him out here. He's big again. I have to fix that. I'll put him in the middle of the stage. Great. And next, right here, go back to the library and drag out Dino jump. And I'm gonna put him in the middle of the stage. Now this animation is not gonna make sense yet. It's gonna look like this, right? And there's the jump, but kind of works. But I need to get my placement correct. And my sizing down. Um, I'm going to take down his size. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the properties panel and select him because we're going to take his size down, something more reasonable. Uh, let's say 300 again. Make sure it's locked. That little locks check right there. Then we'll go down to our other friend here. Same exact process, you know, just go to properties. Alright, it gets confusing. You have to click around a lot and uh, type in 300. Boom. Now I gotta make sure these guys are actually in the same location. So I'm going to click on uh, onion skin. Not onion skin outlines, but onion skin. You can't see that. It's kind of hidden outside the frame here, but I'll move this up so you can see a little better. Onion skin. So you want to hover over it? That's it. Ignore the Amazon thing. I was looking up webcams earlier. Oh, my webcam is really old, and for some reason it's still valuable. Weird. Okay, that's off the topic. Let, let's go ahead and press onion skin, and you can see that we're really not lined up. I'll get closer in here. I'm pressing control and the uh, space bar, but we're really not lined up. Let's line those feet up. I'm going to take uh, his feet and line them up with the other dinosaur. Okay, great. And, it, you know, if you want to you can actually pay attention to the X position. Yes, I said the X position, and that sounds weird. It's actually a word, haha. Uh, go up here, click on the dyno, and you can see. Like, let me just. This is driving me nuts. Let me twirl this open. It's a giant panel, but whatever. Um, y159, height 208.20. If I go over here and look at this guy, Y160, 208, 2.0. So, the height is the same right here. So you kind of get the idea. If you don't get the idea, it's on, just just eyeball it. It's fine. But and if I wanted to move him down, which I kind of do, I'm pressing Shift and the down arrow. It jumps me five pixels pixels at a time, which is nice. But yeah, you know, bring him down to the bottom. Uh, this guy too. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm guessing that that's right, but I don't know. I have to go look again. So let's click on him. There it is. Two. 
uh, 08.20 and uh, this guy is 208.20 so I think they're kind of lined up wait they're totally not lined up look at that all right I'm just eyeballing it I was looking at the wrong position there uh, but I don't feel like worrying about it do you you probably don't feel like worrying about it do you let's not worry about it let's just uh let's just fix it okay great wonderful okay so they're both in the same position if I play the video it will look like this he stands there he jumps here's what's cool it, at the end of all this after he jumps let's just let's just make him idle again you know we'll just go over here in fact let's just copy this keyframe just copy it copy all this stuff copy frames copy those frames go out here to uh, this point and then insert the frames just paste the frames I mean paste them just paste them all out here they'll even keep their name which is nice by the way we didn't label this frame so I guess I should yeah, this is the jump I like these little labels they kind of let me know what's happening in the timeline I should have named my layer I'll just name it dino there's other aspects to this that 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 we would have gone over in class we would have gone over this in class but this is something that students seem to be having trouble with so I decided to uh, you know show you how you can make that sprite work parallax animation all that other stuff you're gonna have to do that separately this video is getting too long and by the way this output here you might see this if you label use the same name um, more than once on keyframes that has to do with action script it won't affect anything just just ignore it all right hope that helps you guys out so that you know how to uh, kind of get frights working good luck